I'm giving you three tips of how to get the most out of any workout. What's up y'all? I'm Shanae Nicole, he's a millennial housewife and it is my hope and prayer to inspire you to become the best versions of yourself all through the standard of the word of God because the best life is the one that's led by Christ. Let's get into today's video. So I know that we're all busy and not everyone has the time to devote hours to a workout, right? But with these three tips, I believe that no matter how much time you have for your workout, you can get the most out of it and maximize the time that you have. Tip number one is to be present. So you're going to avoid thinking about everything that you have to do after your workout, right? When a lot of times when you're working out, your mind is somewhere else. But I want to encourage you guys to focus on the workout, but also the specific movement that you're doing at that time. So say, for instance, if, if you're doing a squat, you know, and you're focusing on targeting the glutes, instead of having your mind going everywhere else, put your mind on your glutes. You know, focus on actually contracting that muscle as you go down and come up. So you are activating the glute as you come up and activating as you go down. So as you do that, you're going to maximize that movement. Regardless of the amount of sets that you're doing, the amount of reps, each time you can focus in and get that burn. So I can get the burn of doing a squat, whether I'm doing it just my body weight or if I add a barbell to my back. Regardless of how much weight you use, when you're present in the movement that you're doing, then you're able to get the most out of that movement. With the mind-muscle connection, a lot of times that can be hard for people who aren't used to um, being aware of their body. So start to be aware of where you feel the movement. Don't just mindlessly do the movement, you know, just to get through it. You want to make sure that you are thinking about what is it? Where do I feel this the most? Because a lot of times when we're first starting a, a workout program, if you have imbalances, you may not feel it where you're supposed to. Sometimes when you do core work, you might feel it. Like say if you're doing stuff like with your legs, instead of feeling it in your core, you're feeling it in your quads. And a lot of times that is an indicator you are compensating because your core isn't strong enough, it's not being activated, then your, your legs are, are kicking in to help do that movement. So then you may have to kind of uh, scale, scale the movement down to do something where you can really start to understand what does it feel like when I'm contracting my core? What does it feel like when I'm activating my glutes? You know, that's another big one. And I know for me, one side, I can activate really easily, whereas my left side, you know, it takes a little bit longer, but I notice like over time that I can really start to understand how to activate this glute. And one of the adjustments that I made was making sure that I included single leg work in my regimen, right? So I'm not always doing things that include both legs because I want to make sure that I don't leave this left glute behind, you know what I mean? Tip number two, rest only when you must. So what I mean by that is avoid prolonged rest periods. Depending on what type of workout you're doing, obviously you'll want to have a longer rest period. So if you're lifting heavier weight, your rest period might look more like 60 to 90 seconds. Um, as opposed to if you're doing something more like hit, that rest period could be 30 seconds. When you finish the set, don't wait until you are completely recovered. You know what I mean? Start back up when you're still, you know, a little bit windy. Obviously, you're not pushing past pain or anything like that, but in order to build up your cardiovascular system and really uh, tax that, you want to continue while your heart rate is still slightly elevating going into that next set. And then you're also increasing the time under tension. So the more time that you rest, the less time that your muscles are under that tension. But say if I just get done with a set of kettlebell swings, right? And I'm done, I'm winded, I'm tired, and I just wanna sit down and rest. A lot of times we can get distracted and we might be scrolling on our phone. Before we know it, it's been like two minutes and now we're going back into the set. And of course, we're talking about how to maximize each minute of your workout. So if you cut down the rest periods, one, your workout will go by a lot faster, but again, you're taxing that cardiovascular system, you're getting stronger, you're putting um, more time under tension. So your muscles are under that tension, under that fatigue for longer, so you'll start to build up strength a little bit faster. Another thing to keep in mind is if it's too easy. So say if you get done 
with your reps, you know, and you're not tired at all. You could do another set like right after that, then that might mean that your weight is too light or your reps are too low. Again, we are looking for strength. We're looking for gains. We're looking for um, increase in cardiovascular. So each time as you get stronger, you're able to push it a little bit more and you're able to see those results faster. And tip number three, focus on form. So this is probably the top priority because, you know, if you're doing anything incorrectly, then you're not going to get the most benefit and you're susceptible to injury. So when you're focusing on form, you want to make sure that whatever you're doing, your, your form is in line. And generally, depending on what you're doing, like when I say like knees behind your toes or, you know, pushing up through your heel, you know, um, engaging the core. These are the type of things that will help your body kind of get in line and in form with what you're doing. Keeping your neck in line with your spine so you're not like doing movements with your head going back and forth. You know, I'm keeping my neck, as a, as a general rule, if my neck is in line with my spine, if my uh, core is engaged, then I'm not putting added pressure and unnecessary pressure on my back. So when I say focus on form, I wanna make sure that I'm doing each and every rep to the best of my ability without breaking form. So if I get, say, to my 10th rep and those last three reps are really hard to get out, right? You know, I'm talking about that previous one about um, resting when you must. So I know the difference between me leaning into that, that discomfort and getting out those last three reps with good form, or if I'm really starting to break my form. Am I starting to round my back? Am I starting to lose my connection in my core? You know, these are indications that I need to rest. Because when you start to feel like you're breaking form, then those, those reps don't count. Those reps aren't gonna benefit you at all. So it's better to just rest and then pick it back up and you know that you can continue the movement with the proper form. So we talked about the mind-muscle connection and being present during your workout. We talked about only resting when you have to, right? So cutting down those rest periods when we can and then taking time to rest if we need to in order to not break form, which is our number three, right? If you're unsure about the form, you know, look it up, you know, find out. What, what is it I'm supposed to be focusing on to make sure that my body stays in the proper form? And then this all ties together because if my form is together and it's, and it's right and legit, then I should be able to activate the appropriate muscles when I'm talking about that mind-muscle connection. If I'm in the right form, then I should be able to activate those proper muscles. So I encourage you to try these next three steps during your workout and then let me know in the comments if it has helped you. And if there's like a specific movement that you like me to break down these three tips and apply it to, then let me know in the comments and I can definitely do that for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will talk to y'all very soon.